Hello everyone, we all know if we run a Java code in IntelliJ IDEA, it's run in an internal console, not in CMD like code blocks do. So if we really want to do that, we can do that. So I will show you how to do that. So first, let me run a code. And you guys can see it is running on internal console. But we want to change it. First of all, if your code has database, then MySQL database, I am using MySQL database. If you also use that, then go for step 1, otherwise go for step 2. So what is step 1? First, you have to download the MySQL connector. I am using the latest one. So here you can open the link and download the connector. So I am downloading this. I so i i don't want to delete this file i want to keep this file because we need it so i press the keep button and here is here you can find the file location so here you can see the mysql connector now you have to copy the file and go to local leak c and paste it in the root directory press the continue button you can see the file is in here okay so the next step is run IntelliJ IDE so we have here then you have to go to setting then appearance and behavior then path variable now see if there is a path name java if there is no path name java then press the plus button write java then you have to go to local disk c and you have to find the home directory of java so there is a, some difference between what kind of version you are using if you are using jdk 8 then it will be in java jdk jdk 1.8.0 so you have to copy the path okay if uh, you if you are using another version of java like amazon kaito then you have to copy this path jdk path okay and if you are also not using this there is another one if you are using julu it's it also a jdk so you can you can copy this path but now i will use amazon kaito so i will copy this path from here and i am copying it now have to paste in value okay i have to paste it and press the ok button so step 2 is complete now we will press ok button then step 3 step 3 okay go to setting now you have to go in tools under tools you can find you will find under tools you will find external tools there is the add button now here you have to copy and paste some values first of all copy the name paste it in here then copy the program will use cmd that's why the cmd is location then the argument if you are not using any mysql like me you can copy the first one it will run a simple java code without mysql if you are using mysql then you have to copy the second one so i am using mysql so i will copy it and paste it in argument directory now the work directory is output path okay just copy it and paste it here and press the ok button and again press the ok button so now is step 4 okay so step 4 is creating a shortcut so how we can create a shortcut we have to go setting first of all and then key map uh, under key map 
will find external tools then again external tools then build and run in sim now press the right button of the mouse and add keyboard shortcut press this one and now press f10 only f10 nothing else and then press ok button to have created a shortcut now you have to press the f10 button oh shit now you can see there is an error the error saying working directory not exist so we have to fix the bug so if you want to fix the bug you have to go to external tools tools external tools then here we made the mistake here you can see there is an space and also here also a space can put a space in here but we when we copied the copied the path we copy it with a space so if you give a space here the program will not work so now if we press the f10 button you can see program is working and this is with database if you are not using database then it will also work because i have showed you two trick so here you can see the code is running so if you just don't want to add database function just add this directory not the last one this directory to build and path here argument okay select all and paste the no space and it will only run a simple java code not mysql so here you can see it is running but if you run a code with mysql it will show error so class not found so that's all in that way you can easily run java code in intellij IDE with cmd tata